Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to connect wireless directly from your CD. So the first thing we want to do is start the run setup.exe on the CD. Select next. In this case, we want to select advanced. So you can select typical. Um, typical will install all the drivers and stuff. For this uh, uh, video, we're just going to install just the Twain drivers and documentation setup. Yep, yep, yep. Next, I'm going to uncheck the ISIS driver. So. We don't uh, install that. Okay. Now we're going to select next. We are going to select how we want to configure our system. In this case, we want to go wireless directly. Select next. We need to configure, and this goes through your screens of, you know, connecting your input trays and your power, and starting up your scanner. Okay. So we are going to use wireless directly. I'm going to say OK, and we're going to go from this computer. And then we have to look on the scanner, see what the SSID is. Five two three. Next. <laughs> okay. Next. This will bring up your scanner's home page to the network tab. We want to configure wireless directly. And that's just fine. Everything here is by default. And we'll save it. We'll say OK. It has now successfully uh, configured the scanner. We can close the web browser page and continue on with the installation. Sometimes here you have to go back in and reconnect to your scanner. and then you find it. Okay. Next, we'll put a document in. Do all the adjustments. And then hit next. Now this screen here says please wait while the scanner scans the document. Um, you really need to go on the scanner's OCP. It'll tell you to hit the scan button to actually scan it. So you have to wait for that to prompt you to scan the document. It doesn't automatically start scanning. Okay, and there's the scan document. Hit next. <coughs> At this point you can then install um, whatever scanning application you'd like. 
I'm not going to do that right now. But, and then we're done.